Harrison Butker ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. Tyler Scott now from his end zone. A oh, good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Bears. So how about that? You want to talk about coming into a hostile environment and just silencing the crowd. They just did it. Couldn't be a better start. There is no way. All week long, they've talked about having this type of a start. But I think they looked at it from the offensive team's perspective. You know, get the opening kickoff. You guys control the ball. A lot of people are now going to say, okay, now your offense, will they be out of whack? No, not at all. They're going to be absolutely happy. They're relaxed. They took care of business for them. They don't have any pressure now. They can just go play. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. From midfield, here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that will bring up second down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Now it's Mahomes again. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Connor Gordon picks it off, and the Bears are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here now, second and four. Now Fields going to keep it running left. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head. His head coach, or probably his agent, too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10.
Herbert powering up the middle. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. D.J. Moore, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bears go up by two touchdowns. Now this feels like something we'd see more commonly, C.D., in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you'd think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver and it resulted in a touchdown. Santos with the extra point and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're going to try and throw. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. 
Just a spectacular run by the always dynamic Justin Fields. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21-0 leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try and mount a comeback. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Yellow, yellow. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Mahomes to throw on second down. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. First down. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. I don't need to. I don't need to. Attack, attack. Now Patrick going to change the play. Mahomes to throw once more. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. Steps away to his left. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now they'll change things up. First and goal at the eight-yard line. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. short of the goal line. But Checo once more, and this time he will score. Touchdown, KC. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. 
And a pretty slick return there. Almost got it to the 45. Officially, they'll call him down at the 44. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. Fields on first down. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A shotgun snap, Fields. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. need five on this play to move the sticks back to throw fields oh, he had him he was open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete that might be the third down stop that they needed because they've got a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half this might be their opportunity to get off the field now the Bears gonna call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here we go on fourth down, Fields. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. First and ten, here's Mahomes. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive. Hey, let's go. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Hey, 
And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Back deep, Trent Taylor. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. Well, this is going to be returned from middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Locates Hardman for another catch. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Kansas City touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point by Baker is on target. And they're back with it. A touchdown at 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, Maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bears are able to widen their advantage. Now the point after try for Santos. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14.
Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They were bouncing their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Here's a second and two now from the 33. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes now to throw. And that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down, and he'll have it by 20 as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a... And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to take over here up near... Bro, you keep pausing the game, bro. Just quit. <laughs> 